We're in a Cisco ASA 5506X, but this will work with other models as well, as long as they have firepower on them, which most modules do. And we're gonna go ahead and start by getting rid of the 5.4 version of firepower and replace it with 6.0. 6.0 is the, the first module version you can use that will uh, allow you to manage it using the ASDM. All right, so those commands that we just typed at the top, just basically show us that our SFR module is now shutting down and we're moving on to the point where we can erase uh, everything on the firepower module. There's the uninstall command. So we're uninstalling firepower altogether. Now, once it's uninstalled, we have a blank slate where we can add the image and the package, which I'll show you how to do here as we go along won't take very long. So we're doing a uh, configuration and what we're doing now is we're going into the management interface because that's what we plug into for firepower. So normally you'd use management to manage the fire, firewall itself, but in this case we're using it to manage firepower. So you're going to plug in a cable into the management interface and port 2 on your 5506. We're stripping out all the configuration out of our uh, management interface because we want it to be used just for firepower. So now we can see what our IP address is and we can see uh, the firewall IP address is 16.6. .6. So we're able to ping that, which is great. That means we're communicating with it just fine. Our host IP address is 16.50 and we'll need to know that a little bit later. Now it doesn't have to be the same IP that you use, but that's what we need. So now if you want later on to be able to use the ASDM, you have to add the IP address 16.6 uh, .6 into Java in the control panel, just like you see here. So I went into the control panel, went into Java, went into the security tab, and I'm adding the IP address. Feel free to pause or rewind if that went too fast for you. Now I've installed SolarWinds TFTP, and that's a separate video if you want to see how to do that. It's a free program from SolarWinds.com, and we've got our TFTP root folder where we're going to copy in the 6.0 image. So you can see there it is, an IMG file, which looks sort of like a DVD uh, setup. Now we're going to copy from our TFTP server, which is our host, you know, Windows 10 PC, uh, into our Cisco ASA. This is the 6.0 image that we need. So turn off the firewall on your Windows 10 in order to make sure that you don't have any issues uh, communicating with the SolarWinds. So you've got to have communication between the host PC and uh, your firewall at this point, which we do. And you can see now that the image file is being copied uh, from our Windows 10 PC using SolarWinds TFTP, which is a free download, onto our Cisco ASA. Now, this is just the first of two downloads that we're going to be doing. The first one, we're using TFTP. All right, now we're saying to the firewall, go ahead and use the 6.0 image, just as you see here. Use that 6.0 image, and you're going to boot off of that for firepower. Not for the ASA, just for firepower. And so then we type the software module SFR recover boot command, and then that causes it to boot and use. So those two commands together causes it to, to work. So now we can see that we're in recovery mode, which takes a little bit of time, anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. So uh, don't expect it to happen right away. As soon as it says it's up and no longer in recover, then you can uh, do a session SFR console. And you can go ahead and connect back in to Firepower. And now we're going to be in Firepower 6.0. You can see at the top. So we're in our login. Admin is, uh, the login is admin. The password is admin with a capital A, one, two, three. And now we're in Firepower. Now we're going to go ahead and type setup and it's, we're going to set up the IP address for Firepower as well as gateway information and other things like that. So we're going through a little wizard, and the wizard's basically asking what we want to use, what we want to configure, and what we don't. So we want to configure IP version 4. We don't care about IP version 6. It gives us a uh, an IP address we could use, but we want to use the same IP address, the same subnet, I should say, that, that our Cisco ASA internal network is on. So the gateway is going to be 16.6, .6, which is our ASA internal port, port 2. Now we're putting in our DNS IP address, and we're putting in, uh, after that, we're going to put in our time server. 
We want to make sure that the from Firepower you can ping 16.6, and from ASA 16.6 you can ping Firepower's 253. So you've got to have both cables plugged in, and uh, the management port as well as the internal port, and that they can ping each other. All right, so we don't need the DNS server uh, for the secondary. We don't need a domain name. Uh, it's just not necessary. We don't need a search domain, but we do want to use the time server. So uh, I've put in this particular IP address for a time server, but you can use any one you want off of Google search. So once the wizard is done, then we press enter to continue. And now we can show the interfaces just to make sure everything's configured correctly. So there you go. You see 192.168.16.253. All right, so that is all done. Now we want to drag in the package. So we, we've already done the image. Now we want to do the package. Now the package is going to be uploaded using FTP rather than TFTP. So FTP is going to be on our Windows 10. And I installed the Windows 10 IIS FTP, which comes with Windows 10, as well as Windows 8 and Windows 7, etc. So I've turned off, once again, turned off the firewall on the Windows 10 computer to make sure it's not going to block anything. And now I'm running this FTP command, which will uh, copy the file that's on our host computer into our ASA. So for some reason, you can't use TFTP for this one. You've got to use FTP. Although on the first one, you could use FTP instead of using TFTP if you wanted to. So now it's downloading the package. After that, it's going to install it. And it's going to wipe out all the IP information that we've already done. But we, we needed to do that other IP information in order to communicate properly. So uh, we're going to be basically be running through the same wizard setup that we did after 6.0's image file got installed. So we're rebooting the fire, uh, Firepower. It does not reboot the ASA. It just reboots Firepower. Again, it's a separate hard drive. And we're going to do the show module uh, until the SFR at the bottom shows that it's up. So right now it says that it's in recover mode again. After 10 to 30 minutes, it will be back up. I've seen it take as long as an hour as well. All right, these are all the commands. So you might want to pause the video. These are all the commands you're going to need to type into the ASA, not Firepower, but into the ASA itself. The only thing you need to change is where it says host at the top. Put whatever IP address you're using for Firepower. Now I used 16.253. You can use any IP address that you want. It's going to be an inside IP address, though, something on the same subnet as your internal port on your firewall. Great, so our SFR is up. Fire, that means Firepower is up, and we can get back into it again. And we'll run through that wizard one more time to reset back the IP address information one more time. So we're getting close to the end of uh, this basic wipeout reconfiguration. Once you're done, you can then go ahead and open up the ASDM. Now on 6.0, one of the problems is you cannot open the ASDM on Windows 10. It can only be done on Windows 7. It might be able to do Windows 8 as well. You have to upgrade the uh, Firepower module to 6.0.1 or newer. If you don't do that, then it, it will not work on Windows 10. And you'll just have to open the ASDM on an older version of Windows, which will work fine until you do the upgrade. There'll be a separate video on how to do the upgrade itself, but it's a fairly easy process, and it's much quicker. All right, so we're getting to the end of the EULA. Don't go too fast through this portion. If you do, it may crash putty, and you'll have to start the uh, session SFR console over again. I've, I've sometimes had to do that many times to get to the bottom of the EULA because I went too fast. You could also use Telnet as well in case that works better. All right, so now we have to enter a new password. So the uh, old password, you know, you're not going to be using anymore. I like to use the same password as my ASA. Uh, just make it easy. You don't have to remember two different passwords. Um, now, once again, we've got this wizard where we're going to configure uh, our IP version 4 and the rest of it. Now, once again, once this is done, once we're done with our configuration, you can go into your ASDM, which we're not doing in this video, but we'll do in a separate video. Go into your ASDM and start uh, adding your licensing. You need a control license as well as the um, firepower license of your choice. And then you can start managing it, which we will show in other videos. So we're adding our IP address. You can see I accidentally used the wrong IP address uh, in the video, but that's okay. I went back and fixed it later, just in case you noticed that. But the rest of it is all the same. Again, 16.6 .6 is my gateway. That's the inside IP address of my firewall, the ASA itself. 
And once this is done, like I said, go into ASDM and you can start uh, installing your licenses and managing. So thanks for watching.